In this video, I'm going to explain why everything that we know about Gun Bunch is about to change. What's going on, guys? My name's Cody. I'm also going to give you a couple one-play touchdowns in this, too, for fun, so stay tuned. Also, what's good? My name is Cody. Uh, thanks for watching the video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. If you haven't already gotten my Gun Bunch offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to that in the description below. It's, it's really good. It really is. Um, Bunch is the best offense by far in this game, and it just got a thousand times better with the latest patch. And honestly, everything that we've known about Gun Bunch is about to change because I'm about to share with you a new way to run Gun Bunch. Now, in the past, conventional wisdom would tell you that you always want to run your bunch to the wide side of the field because when you run your bunch to the wide side of the field, it plays better. You have more space. You have better spacing for your corner routes, your flood concepts. All of that is, is true. In the latest patch, though, they basically screwed up coverage logic to the short side of the field. So when you run your bunch to the short side of the field, you're going to find that we're going to be able to bomb a lot of different coverages. So that being said, I would recommend having a slot apprentice on your team. If you don't have a slot apprentice, you don't have to. I'm going to show you how to do it without a slot apprentice, but it does work best with a slot apprentice or a hot route master. And the reason why is because we want to be able to create a slot apprentice corner route. Okay. Now in the Seattle Seahawks playbook, the gun bunch has this play bunch trail, which does have a sharp corner route that you can use. So if you, worst case scenario, just put that in your audibles, okay? Bunch trail. I also want to go over clear out SE out because it's my favorite play. We're going to go over the same concept. It's the same concept. It's just from two different, uh, two different plays, and they're both going to be very, very effective. Now, like I said, if you want to learn my entire gun bunch offense, um, we have put everything into our gun bunch offensive guide. It's a bunch guide that's literally just bunch, and it's bunch from every form, every major playbook that has the best gun bunch. So you don't just learn the Seattle bunch; you learn the Seattle bunch and the Carolina bunch and the Indianapolis bunch and all of the bunch formations. You're going to be able to learn in this guide. So if you want to get access uh, to it, it's a one-time purchase of $15, and we're going to update this throughout the season so that you can always have the most up-to-date scheme. Any patches that come out, we're going to be updating the guide for you for free. So let's jump into the video. If you want to get the if you want to get the guide, again, there's a link in the description. So I've got 335 wide here with cover four, show two, Mike Blitz three, and Tampa two. Those are the, th the, the top three coverages that you're going to face in Madden are those. Um, and then maybe man coverage, okay? So uh, we're just going to come out in the play clear out, SE out, and then we'll show you the how you can do the same concept from bunch trails. So if I could find it, there we go, clear out, SE out. And you want to have your gun bunch to the short side of the field. So we're first going to show this against cover three press. And all we're going to do is we're going to put the R1 receiver on a corner route and then you could put your running back on any underneath route that you want. And what you're going to see is against cover three. Um, well, of course, if, if you get bumped like that, that's n very rarely going to happen in a regular game because they're, that would mean that they're not setting their zone drops, right? Um, it's just not likely for this to happen. But if you do, uh, I'll show you. And sometimes it does happen a little. It just happens a lot in practice. But let me show you again. There I got that weird jam. And as you see, that's what I'm talking about. See how that corner did that little movement? And it gives us a step to be able to throw a one-play score. Now, why I like this so much, I think this is truly the best play in the game right now for a lot of different reasons. Um, I want to show you here. I'm just going to I'm gonna base align it, okay, just, just to try to keep myself from getting jammed, okay? But what you're going to see is if we put that corner route on there, that slot of print, it has to be a slot of print corner. It can't, it can't be like a, a, a Z spot corner. It has to be like a bunch trail or a clear out. Okay. Or a, a slot apprentice. But that just, I mean, just look at that. I mean, that's insane. Like that's insane. Now, some of you that are watching this video already knew that this does this to cover three. So cover three is good. We don't have to talk too much more about cover three. Now what I want to do is I want to go over cover four quarter. So I'm going to go to cover four match or cover four show two. And I want you to watch what happens. This is really crazy to me. So we're going to put the running back. I like to put him on an in route because now we have a high low flood to the right. And then we have some backside concepts as well. So against uh, quarters, watch what happens to the uh, R1. You see he gets wide open, okay, to the short side. They don't match properly to the short side. Now to give another perspective take a look at this 
This is cover six, so it's another match defense. And I want you to watch what happens to cover six. You should see here that circle completely glitches cover six. The outside quarter zone is logic is broken to the short side of the field, okay? So you can, it's the same exact setup as the cover three ball. It's literally the same setup, okay? Now cover four show two is a little bit better. I will tell you it is a little bit better, but there's a lot of things that will happen. Watch this real quick. A cage, you're either going to have the corner or you're going to have circle. Occasionally that corner will glitch that guy out. Now let me show you another uh, example. So let's go clear out. We're going to put the corner and we're going to put a streak. Okay, just want to show this version of it as well. So as you see, this is what the this is the adjustments. Now watch that outside quarter zone. There it is. As you see, he breaks. Okay, that was cover four quarters. That was cover four quarters. A lot of people will tell you that's the best zone in the game, or best, and it is. It really is. But as you see, we just broke it again. Okay, to the short side. So this little wiggly fade does kind of mess up our deal from cover four show two. But I will tell you, it's definitely worth its bang for its buck because of what it'll do. There it is right there, as you see. And if you wanted to break cover four show two, all you have to do is smart route the route because it'll break it. It'll it'll break the coverage down a little bit better. So you'll see here. Let me show you Mike Blitz three. And this, this is why this is the best play in the game right now. So I probably will get jammed on this, but just bear with me. So this is Mike Blitz three. Watch circle. And if we do that, obviously the corner's open. You can hit it, okay? If they're doing zone drops, that corner will never do that, what you're seeing. Um, let me try it one more time. So again, I smart route circle. I put R1 on the corner, and then I snap the ball. And there we go. As you see, there's cover three. Now, the reason why this is so good is not just what it does to cover three and not just what it does to cover four and not just what it can do to man coverage, of course, with the in route and the corner and the post. But now let's go to cover two. Because cover two, to be honest with you, right now is probably the best defense in the game. So we're going to go over cover two. This circle receiver will fade to the outside, as you see right there. I'm just going to pass lead this to the right. And as you see, we will bomb cover two. We will completely torch cover two. Now, a lot of people, what they like to do, especially if you're someone like me, this is how I like to play defense right now. I'll base a line and I'll press my cover two, okay? I'll baseline and press my cover two. Well, that's gonna give me a free release with circle. And what you're gonna see here is he's gonna get open probably even faster as long as Brady can't freaking, can't uh, get, get shamed by that. But watch this, guys, this is insane. It's insane that this is this good of a play right now. It beats every, almost every coverage for a one play score. Pass lead that to the right. Once you see that safety take that step inside, you pass lead that to the right. And if you got a fast player out there, you're going to score. You're going to score. Okay? If you got gunslinger, it's even easier. Okay? So that's cover two. Now, um, what else do we have to kill? I mean, what else do we have, right? What else do we have? Um, well, you've got cover four drop. Okay, so we'll show you cover four drop. Now, cover four drop is interesting. I'm really, I, this is an interesting one. So, same exact concept, same routes. Literally, verbatim, the same routes. Watch circle. Now, here you actually play it. Uh, and I think it's a it's the same thing with cover three, where if they get that, that weird little, that weird little bump animation, because a lot of people like to baseline and press their cover four drop, and the reason they like to do that is because it takes away it takes away crossing routes decently well. Um, but look at this. If they do that, there's a good chance, and there it actually played okay. Um, there's a good chance that that cover four cover four drop is honestly probably their only choice. Um, but I will tell you that cover four drop is not is not exactly great, especially to the other side of the field. Um, so if you wanted to flip on them real quick or something, force them to have to change coverage shots completely and quick snap them, you could do that. I will tell you that I will say, you know, right there, okay, we'll just take the corner. I mean, you know, cover four drops, what they basically have to do, which cover four drop is very susceptible to bombs all over the field. Um, you know, and they have to, I mean, 
I just it's crazy that it's crazy that they really can only run one coverage against it. So if you run bunch trail, uh, which we'll cover in just a moment, you're going to have a lot of success. But let me just show one more thing about cover four draw. You see, there we go. That played it okay. Okay. So now let's go. Um, so we cover two, cover three, cover four match. Boom, 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 and it's just an easy touchdown every time. Okay. One more time against cover four drop, and then we'll cover um, we'll cover um, the last piece of this. Let me make sure this is going right. I don't know why that's it's not showing my play art deck on it. There we go. Okay. Here's cover four drop again, and you see there it plays good. We'll just throw the corner. We'll just throw the corner, right? Um, there's a lot of ways we can manipulate cover four drop. I promise, and we talk about all of them in the guide. Um. So now let me go over, let me go over um, bunch trail. So bunch trail. If you don't have, if you don't have slot apprentice, and you still want to run the same like basic concept, call bunch trail and put the circle receiver on a streak, or a. I recommend a fade. Put him on a fade. So against cover three, you see we break cover three, and Brady threw a terrible throw. But you see it gets over the top of cover three, okay? Now against cover four, show two, this is a little bit of a, a trickier bomb. But if we just streak circle or put him on a fade, watch what happens against cover four. Um, you see there, it, it does play it right. So what you need to do is you need a route from your tight end that will hold the, hold the, the guy, like the post route, right? So you need something like that. So if you have hot, a tight end apprentice, then you could run him on a crossing route, and more than likely this will be enough to, to break this coverage. So let's see here. Crossing route. And, I mean, it's, it, they, they do a little bit of a false step. Brady can't make a dag on throw, but but they do that they do that little false step, and then you can hit it over the top. Now, if so that's one way. Um, another way is uh, from the play bunch trail, put circle on a fade, put the tight end on like a – smart routed out route or smart routed in route i you know something like that is honestly should be fine and you see here i mean they're actually playing it decent um it's probably because you don't have the post so you know run clear out but um you know i mean it is what it is for the most part this will still really mess with the coverage the it might not be a one play score against match but you've got a lot going for you against match with this concept right here there's a lot of stuff that you should be able to easily just manipulate match. Um, a lot of times you will get a, a one play score. Of course, I'm I'm kind of Brady's killing me right now, but the corner's open. You know the fade the fade would be open, um, but you the problem is you've got. I mean, you might even take your tight end. Honestly, you might even streak him. I don't know if I would do that, but do something with him. Um, like a tight end apprentice post, you know, a lot of people can get tight end apprentice. So, you know, it shouldn't be that bad. Uh, but you're either going to have your streak or your corner. Okay. And then cover two, bunch trail doesn't really bomb cover two on the right because we don't have that wiggly fade route. So you're not going to be able to get like a great deal. But on the left side, you've got this skinny post, which is really, really lethal. And Brady is freaking driving me insane. So we're going to wrap this video up here in a second because Brady, Brady's about to get fired on the practice squad here. But what you'll see is the bunch trail. And why I like bunch trail is because you could do something like this. You could just drag your tight end. This is a great combination of routes because what's going to happen is the user is going to follow that drag. And then they're going to leave this post wide open up the seam. Okay, and they can't catch the ball today, but the Bucks decided they wanted to play like they played yesterday. But um, but you see what I'm saying, okay? Hopefully you're understanding. The biggest thing is this can this can get you the same basic idea, the same basic principle. It won't be as effective as clear out, but it gets you out of having to use a slot apprentice um, and all that. Most of you have a slot apprentice at this point in the season or a hot route master, so you know it's not. Again, this is a great it's a great play. It really is. Uh, with clear out, if you don't have a slot apprentice, you can try this right here, this smart reddit out route. Now, I will tell you that it does not work as well. It's not as good as the other one, but 
like you see right there like they play it right okay so that's that's you know you got you got to kind of I would just get a slot premise I mean you're gonna bomb cover three from brunt bunch trail and then maybe you think well okay so then whenever they run you know quarters cover four show two then I'll just you know run this right here where I can just streak the R1 but the bottom line big picture principle is start trying your bunch plays to the short side of the field your concepts you'll find that they actually probably work a little bit better and they're they're gonna bomb coverage is a lot easier to the short side right now so thanks for watching the video if you want to learn my entire bunch offense there's a link in the description to my bunch ebook it's 15 bucks one time purchase and you get free updates for the season. Uh, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to get the Gun Bunch Guide, again, just go down to the description, click that link. It'll take you right to the website, and we'll get it all squared away for you.